Hi, welcome. So you may have seen some of the many videos I've been doing about Xiaomi's uh, sensors and other devices that you can buy from them, which, uh, you know, I really like Xiaomi's uh, universe, but the Xiaomi is pretty closed about integrating to other vendors stuff. So if you have, uh, let's say light bulbs from, uh, from Philips Hue or Ikea or someone else, and you want to do automations that combine those uh, vendors, what do you then do? Well, of course, uh, Xiaomi released like a year or two back uh, a Kara Hub version that was actually HomeKit compatible. And I bought that fairly quickly to try it out. Uh, and uh, I've noticed, you know, that some of the questions I get from the videos of the, the other stuff that I do is in regards to this whole HomeKit uh, compatible area. So I thought I would do a video to better explain what are the possibilities, which sensors uh, will actually work with uh, the HomeKit. And if you actually get the sensors in there, what can you then do in, inside the, the Apple HomeKit universe? So let me just uh, jump quickly into the, the HomeKit app uh, and just show you which sensors that uh, maybe I can start out by showing you my my Mi Home app just to give you an overview of the like just below 50 sensors and stuff that I do have in my my house from Xiaomi and then how many of those that are uh, supported by the Apple HomeKit universe and what you can do with them within the Home app. So let's uh, just jump into those two apps. So quickly going through my Mi Home app, you see here that I have gas detectors. I have wireless switches, I have motion sensors, I have power switches, vibration sensors, water leakage sensors, uh, a couple of, uh, of course, uh, window or door magnets. I have uh, a kettle, uh, a light strip, and a, a vacuum cleaner. So that's pretty much the, the main categories. Moving on to the home app, which is in Danish in my case, you see here that I have my hub and for the hub, I can easily turn the alarm on and off using this toggle. So that's pretty easy within the home app to do that. Next up is an example of our temperature sensors that are easily available within the home app and you can see both the temperature and the humidity. Our mag magnet sensors for window or doors are also available in here for automations. Same goes for the motion sensors, which you can see here. Uh, of course, you can't do much within uh, this. This is needed for automations. Our smoke detectors are also in here where you can see the battery level as one of the parameters. We also have our water leakage sensor uh, also available for automations. Next up is the wireless switch where you can define the actions for the three different press types that you have on the wireless switch. Our gas alarm is also available for automations, but you can't do much or see much from the display itself. This is an a another example of a, a wireless switch with uh, some more buttons than the traditional one. But let's jump into an automation where we could say that we wanted to combine a Xiaomi motion sensor with the Philips Hue light. So uh, let's first pick out the, the motion sensor and then define that this action should only take place within a given time range. So it doesn't happen uh, at night time. So this is available uh, using the, the automation platform from the Apple HomeKit, which is quite clever. And you see here you have some different options on uh, how to, to set the, the automation's parameters. We then se select the trigger device, which in our case is the Philips Hue lamp that is also sitting within that room. And we say that that device should turn on if the motion sensor is triggered. So now we have combined the Xiaomi and the Philips Hue systems. Easy peasy. If you jump back into the Mi Home app and select the Kara Hub that has the home HomeKit integration, we can select the Child Device option here to see the list of devices that are attached to this hub. And that's the maximum list of devices that your HomeKit system can um, integrate into that you have from your system. 
but if we hit the plus sign in the lower left uh, lower right corner sorry you can see here the entire list from Xiaomi servers this is the Chinese mainland server that is available to add to this uh, Akara hub directly and thus being the maximum list of devices that Xiaomi currently supports for HomeKit integration. So the plus side of this ability to use your Xiaomi uh, devices within the Apple HomeKit uh, platform is that you can use that to create automation that span across Xiaomi and non-Xiaomi uh, units. The typical example being that uh, you, like me, may have Philips Hue or IKEA light bulbs and may want to use a Xiaomi motion sensor to trigger those lights, which is possible if you do that using the Apple HomeKit uh, automation platform. So uh, this is something that I find very useful and like, I've all, like you may always also have noticed in the, in the demo of the, the, the Home app, the alarm integration is actually also quite useful because the interface to turn the Xiaomi alarm system on and off is very easy uh, within the Home app and actually easier than in the Xiaomi Mi Home app. So me and my household that use a Xiaomi alarm system actually prefer the, the home app to turn the alarm on and off in contrast to the Mi Home app that are a little bit more complicated and it, it, it takes a little more time and a few more clicks to get into the alarm and turn the alarm on and off. So that would be one obvious user scenario that you could use yourself if you, like me, use uh, your Xiaomi devices to uh, control your house alarm. The downside of uh, getting their Mi Home system to uh, to talk with the with the apple home kit uh, platform is that you get an additional platform where you have automations so i all also uh, by, by by natural i have like automations within the mi home app i also have automations within the amazon alexa app because that platform also benefits from supporting multiple vendors and then being able to sort of do automations across vendors which is also the case for the Apple HomeKit solution. So uh, you get automation spread across uh, different apps and may not be easy to, uh, to figure out, you know, which configuration is in which app, which is sort of a minus. And, would, would, uh, and, and then you could talk about, you know, wouldn't it be better to, to set up a server yourself, which would be able to configure some of these devices. And yes, of course, if you look at it that way, that is a plus for those type of solution, but that's just way more complicated. And even though I, I'm definitely within the range of, of having to be in the abilities to do that, I've just set a, a standard for myself that I don't want to go in that direction of having a server solution to control my home automations, because that would just basically totally rule out the other people in this household of them being able to, to, uh, to manipulate these automations or create new ones themselves if they were, were, were needed to understand a server solution, which is way more complicated than using these pretty simple um, platforms that are within the, the apps of uh, Xiaomi, uh, Amazon, and now also Apple. So of course there are some limitations to those platforms that are not in the server solutions, but I haven't found you know really something where I, I feel that that was uh, enough of a pain for me to consider going the, the server software solution route. Okay, I hope you found this, uh, this useful for, for t taking into consideration if you want to go the, the way of buying one of these Akara hubs to, uh, to sort of to bridge your Xiaomi network with the Apple uh, ecosystem. If you want to do so, uh, I'll leave a couple of links in the description field to some of the sensors and hubs that actually do work with this. Uh, Apple HomeKit network, so uh, you can find some some uh, some guidelines there. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll try to to get back to you. Have a good one. See you guys later.